New head scratching NBA player ranking. Disrespects multiple Spurs. Time to do a reaction to that, Spurs fans. Go, Spurs, go. Go. What is up, San Antonio Spurs fans? Welcome to TSR Sports. Came across this article this morning from Air Alamo where they're saying fans side released an NBA player ranking and a couple of San Antonio Spurs players, Devin Sell and Victor Wembanyama, were placed poorly. I have not looked at the article yet. Want to do a live reaction? While I'm doing so, drop a comment down below. When we get to the ranking, do you think it's justified? Do you think it's too high? Do you think it's too low? Get your blood boiling. You're disrespecting our Spurs again. Let me know. Hit the thumbs up, Big Sports channel, and subscribe to become part of our awesome Spurs and Sports community. Hope you're having a great weekend, by the way. So before we get into the article, I'm guessing this is a top 100 NBA player ranking. And I got to feel Wemby should be at least in the top 20. Top 15? Uh, maybe not quite yet, but I think he should be in at least the top 20. We've already we've already done a video earlier this year where people have him ranked in the top 20. So I'm guessing he's probably ranked outside the top 20. As far as Dan Marcel goes, he's kind of a tougher, uh, tougher nut to crack. I looked up his stats on Basketball Reference before doing this video, and I see that Demo is ranked 44th in scoring in the NBA at 19.5 per game. He was 93rd in three-point percentage, percentage and 43rd in steals. So probably at least top 75, right? Is he top 50? Maybe not yet, but I feel like he's fringe, or is that just my Spurs bias saying that he's, he's around top 50? I don't know. Without further ado, let's get into the article. I don't know if this is going to be spaced right or sized right, because usually I preview this before I do it. So let's see where we're at. Let's scroll down. Girl enjoying her water bottle. Okay. Players play this game for myriad reasons, blah, 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 blah. Player rankings may be subjective, but when one is posted for public consumption, it's going to be scrutinized. Your explanations for why certain guys are listed in certain places need to make sense. Otherwise, fans will take you to task for the absurdities of your list. Well, Fansided has released a list, and there are a couple of issues with it. He's actually number 75. Devin was sells number 75. Okay, uh, I do feel that's a little too low. Let's take a look and see what they're saying. This Devin Sell grape is a little bit more nuanced because he is partially to blame for his placement here. Okay, you hope that people making the list understand the dynamics enough to overlook his passive play early in the season since he is still young and had to adjust to the addition of Victor Wembanyama. but the way he was playing before his injury post-All-Star break weekend was inspired. And it should be noted there was the Jeremy Sohan point guard experiment, there's a Malachi Branham experiment, our guys weren't necessarily set up to succeed at the start of the season. But moving right along. After the break, Vassell averaged 21 points, 5 assists, and 4 rebounds while shooting 46% from 3. Well, shoot, 46% would put him... Top, is that top 10 NBA? 46% at that point? He was drilling shots in the clutch and making a more consistent impact on defense. Devin is a two-way player who deserves more respect. Placing players like Fred Van Fleet, Alex Caruso, and Nick Claxton over him is opposite of that. Claxton averaged 9.9s per points per game here. Let's be serious here. I mean, Van Fleet was a huge part of the turnaround for the Rockets, so I get that one. Caruso and Claxton. So, 75 does feel too low. I think he's probably somewhere in between 50 and 75 Spurs fans. Somewhere between 60 and 65 at the moment. But if he plays like he did in the second half of the season throughout a whole season, averaging over 20 points per game, five assists, four rebounds. We saw his chemistry with Wemby improve over the season. Defense got better. And if he's now at 46% from three for the entire year, then he's, he's probably at top 50 at that point. So I get why they ranked him a little low, but I, I do agree 75 is too low. That being said, there's one more player we got to look at, and I'm really curious to where they put Wemby, because this one might get, that might get me a little upset. Victor Wemby's placement is laughable. Laughable, okay, it's understandable to have hesitance about elevating a player too early in his career, but if you're going to make a list, you have an obligation to just be honest about what you're watching. We're all watching the same thing. And I already saw it as I was reading the articles, it's in pink. When they came in at 29th on the ranking? Well, on its service, being ranked in the top 30 out of 500 players in your rookie season is a compliment. When you look at who's ahead of them, you can't help but have questions. So, 29? My goodness, the top 20 ranking was done, when we do that, around the All-Star break? And he's been playing much better post-All-Star break than pre. He led the NBA in blocks. Uh, anyway, at the 28th spot besides, uh, at the 28th spot resides Rudy Gobert. Gobert averaged 11 points and one assist per game. 
I get Gobert might be defensive, probably going to be defensive player of the year. Let's be honest, that's probably going to happen. Wemby's right there with him, though, at number two. But offensively, this is night and day. They are apples and oranges. Wemby is already a much better offensive player than Rudy Gobert ever was. Ever. Sorry, Rudy, you're a great player, but offensive is, you know, offense is not your forte. Wemby's already past your ceiling and can't even, he did the rear mirror. He can't even see him anywhere so far past you. I'm getting fired up talking about this. His highest point total this season was 26 points on December 12, 2023, and he only reached it once the entire season. Victor Wembanyama averaged 21 points and almost four assists per game. That means you are, are you are trying to tell fans that Rudy Gobert's defense is so far ahead of Wemby's that he deserves to be considered a better player. Agreed. His defense is not so far ahead, and Wemby said it best. Rudy, enjoy this defensive player of the year because this is going to be your last one. If Wemby wasn't the second leaning candidate to win Defensive Player of the Year, you might have an argument, but since he is, it makes that decision outrageous. James Harden and Bam Adebayo are two more examples of guys who should not be ranked to have Wemby based on Victor's massive impact on both sides of the court. Bam lacks offensive consistency, and Harden is a turnstile on defense. Do better. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, wow. Let me just finish with... Uh, I'm going to move this article right in here because I don't, I don't have a thumbnail. Yeah, this is... I'm trying not to get angry. I get the Devon Cell ranking to a degree. Do I think he's a little too low? Absolutely. Wemby 29th, the general consensus, the man that's going to win Rookie of the Year, the man that's going to probably come in second place for Defensive Player of the Year, and the guy you have directly ahead of him, who is granted Defensive Player of the Year, sucks on offense. He can't... He, 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 on, man yeah rankings are subjective they're not objective but it's, i don't even know what to say spurs fans that's that, this yeah that's a bad ranking 29th he's in my opinion clearly already top 20 i'm not ready to put him in top 10 or top 15 like some are hey i get it yeah i understand why you're putting him up there but i'm not ready to do that yet but not top 20 we've if you've watched the spurs this year they are two different teams. Not even close. When one he's on the court offensively and defensively, and when he's off the court offensively and defensively. The team sometimes sucks and can't do a thing out there on either end of the court when Wemby's not out there. And he did this without a good supporting cast. Uh, what a team that was trying to figure out who the heck they were and, and how to work with him with the Jeremy Stillman point guard experiment, the Malachi Branham point guard experiment. And Zach Collins starting and Zach Collins not starting. Kelvin Johnson starting and Kelvin Johnson not starting. Julian Champagny starting. I'm not rambling. That's all I got first fans. Yep, this ranking sucks. Two thumbs down and fan sided. You know what? I'm not going to give you two thumbs down because fan siding, I'm going to give your ranking a one. I'm scaling it a one. Maybe a two, but at least a one. So that's all I got first fans. Hopefully you have a great weekend. Hopefully this ranking didn't get you all fired up. It got me fired up, but our Spurs getting disrespected again. We'll show them next year. We'll get them next year when we're back at a minimum in the play-in. Hope you're having a great weekend. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, go Spurs go. Let me get the game on. Let me get the game on. And then you listen to Wembley.